Yes. Dearly beloved, it is time to welcome me back into the fold. Hello, everyone. It is Taco Tuesday, the day we keep holy. We give thanks and praise to the one true Lord of all, Taco Rilla. Taco Rilla has blessed me this day with a safe trip back home and a comfortable chair to sit upon with my community. Tagarilla has blessed this TwitchCon with much joy and fragilation. Tagarilla bless me, for I sinned many, many sins during TwitchCon, but none that were unforgivable. Please, bless me and bless my chat on this the holiest of weekdays. I now have a holy book, a holy book that I will read from, a holy book that I will, that I will read from. This passage is from Tacos, the chapter entitled Tacos on the Griddle. Four years, motherfucker. Four years, motherfucker. Thank you so much. Tacos on the griddle, and it says, The griddle, a hot, flat surface to cook food on, is little more than a modern version of the pre-Hispanic clay comal. In fact, the tortilla itself got its start with the comal, placing the origin of the classic tar tortilla, or placing the origin of the tortilla in the classic period of Mesoamerica. All right. Welcome, everybody. Thank you all so much for joining me today. You will go to hell for sure. Maybe. Maybe. If so it is written, so it shall be done. <laughs> and, of course, the holiest of pets has joined me this day. What are you doing? Yes. Yes. I've missed you as well, my friend. I've missed you as well. All right. Now go lay down. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> Amen indeed. What is going on, everybody? Welcome. Thank you very much for being here with me. For coming on back during the uh or after after the whole the whole TwitchCon thing has been over. Man, it's good to be back, I'll tell you that. Thank you all so much for being here today. Um you left me with a void in my small heart. I'm sorry, Super Sea Lion, but I'll tell you what, I had a wonderful time at TwitchCon. I hope you all did too. Hail Hydra, Immortal Hydra. We shall never be destroyed. Cut off a limb, and two more shall take its place. We serve none but the Master, as the world shall soon serve us. Hail Hydra. <laughs> Hail Hydra, what up, Cytro? Coming in hot with that tip. Thank you, Hydra. Or thank Hydra. <laughs> thank you, Hydra. Thank you, uh, Citro. I appreciate that. Okay. I looked a little red. I I still look a little different. Hold on. I gotta I gotta get this saturation. Many sins in Twitch con. You did not to like an acceptable spot. level here, so I don't <laughs> look like so I don't look super red. Um, anyway, thank you all so much for being here today. I appreciate it. It was a wonderful time at TwitchCon. I have pictures, maybe some stories. Um, I have not been drinking already. Not yet, I haven't. But I'm sure that I will get some drinks in me today. Um, I want to give a big shout out to, to uh, Skythe with 22 months coming for that gold. Uh, Frost Bube, getting close. Praise be to Taco Praise be to Taco Um, Frost Booby almost got those. Almost got that gold badge. And then AO with a four year re up. It was good to see you again, AO. Good to see your peckers. AO brought a bunch of, um, a bunch of stickers that were dick, dick drawings. Like she had a dick dragon. 
Uh, I don't know where I put it. It's packed away somewhere. But I got some... Uh, <laughs> dick doodles. That's what it was. Dick doodles. Thank you. Second time getting my first striped tones. Either. Second time getting your first stripe. What up, Squash Man 22? Thank you for three months of support. Herman Bach with 13. Lucky 13. You got a year and a month. Marcus 7Z, uh, 7CZ has got the 10. Lorsi, you got 18. Of course, we said AO with the four years. And we had a brand new sub to welcome. We will welcome this new sub as soon as uh, the hotkeys decide they want to work. Aidil. Aidil. Welcome to Zikonia. And thank you for the brand new sub. May Takarilla bless you and keep you. All right. Um, AO's Dick Doodles are great. Thank you all so very much for being here today. Thank you for uh, for showing up on my day back, my first day back. And uh, here's, the, here's the scoop. Today, we're going to be looking at pictures, talking about TwitchCon and whatnot, and then we'll finish up South Park. Um, and if we don't do that, we'll finish it up tomorrow. But on, uh, let's see here. On, I will be leaving on the 31st. I'll be gone the 31st and the 1st, Halloween, because I'll be going down to San Francisco to be on the Halloween episode of Fanboys. So I'll be gone for two days, but that is not, and that's a week from today. So you got a week of Zeke before I leave for two days again to do Fanboys in San Francisco and to do Halloween. And then I'll come back and we'll play some more. And then after that, when and then, and then the 17th of November, on the 17th of November, I'm doing, um, I'm doing PAX Unplugged, the tabletop PAX, with people like JP, it me JP, uh, Adam Coble, Skinny Ghost, like we're going down to, to PAX Unplugged and we're gonna, we're gonna kick that ass, kick that ass, um, yep, no spoilers, anyway, Thank you all so much. Flipside Shoes is up in the house with seven months in a row. Thank you, Flipside. Um, where is Unplugged? That is actually... Ah. Ah. <laughs> Let's see. Pax Unplugged is in Philly. It's in Philadelphia. It is in Philadelphia. So, that's, so on the 17th or the 19th, I will be at PAX Unplugged in Philadelphia. So if you're in Philadelphia, let me know. And if you want to come like hang out, meet me, take a picture, whatever. I don't know. Buy me a drink. Whatever. Um, let's see here. I would like to talk to you about our Lord and Savior Taco, Taco Thulu. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Trotty, you got fit, uh, 13 months. Thank you, Mr. Trotty. And D Dr. Noodle Strudel, thank you for those 250 bits. I appreciate that. All right. If you want to, if I want to send you cheese, will you get it before it goes bad in your P.O. box? Um, yeah. I check that whenever it, it gets, it sends me a notification. Whenever I get something in my, U it's, it's a UPS box. They send me an email. They say like, hey, here's an email. You got something in your box. So, and I go usually pick it up within a day, within 24 hour period. Um, anyways, guys, uh, TwitchCon was amazing. Let me get, cause I got the, I got, I just got my Twitter feed open and I got pictures and whatnot. Um, let me get to the, to the start if I can, and then we'll scroll up. Let's see. I think. Yep, this is the first this is the first picture. Okay. Taco baby. Taco baby, you met a cog man. Thank you for nine months. And that taco baby. Yeah, pictures at TwitchCon. People do that? Yeah, they do, Lucky Misfit. And you were there and we didn't get we didn't get to uh we didn't get to hang out, did we, Lucky? That's terrible. I'm, I'm upset about that. Always great seeing you at TC, brother. It was great seeing you too, Sticky, and I want to show you guys something. 
that uh, I got from Sticky. I put it in this book. I put it in the holy book. So it wouldn't get mashed, but... Check that out. Check out that cool thing. Sticky made this for me and gave it to me at TwitchCon. At the TwitchCon party. I think it was at the party, right? Um, Sticky made that for me. Pretty fucking awesome, right? Yeah. It's really cool, man. Look at that. It's got Carmichael's there. It's got the Z. Amazing. Amazing. Yet, yet another thing I have to add to my list of of, um, of things to get framed. Uh, thank you, John1918. You're all over the place. Yeah, see, I miss you, Lucky. I don't know. Um, John1918, thank you for uh, those 250 bits. Sticky, of course, thank you for 30 months. And Dr. Akek, back from TwitchCon, you are. Yay. Excited for the stories. How's it going, Dr. Akek? Good to see you. Vibe Beat Foo, it was nice meeting you as well. All right. Uh, let's start with start with start with this the the merch. The merch that I got. Of course, you'll see pictures of this, but got my got my my Twitch onesie. You'll see you'll see the full deal. You'll see lots of pictures of my me and my onesie and my fat good hanging out because I, I just I walked around uh during the during the third day with with that on. Um, and I broadcast from the Devolver booth with that on. Um, also hung out with uh, with a dude named, that you might know from the chat, named Lima Zulu Tango. He was, he's hilarious because he, he gave me his own shirt. I love that. That's great. He gave me his own shirt to wear, which is smart. Um, I got, uh, I got the, the Twitch, the Twitch purple sunglasses, of course. Had to get those. Those are pretty dope. Love that. Got the, got the Twitch hat, which I was, I was sad to see that it was a snapback because I don't really, I put my hats on backwards usually just because of the hair, because of my hair. Um, but it is a pretty cool hat nonetheless, but it's one I'd have to probably wear straight. Um, oh, Trash Hunter, it was good meeting you too as well. Um, okay, got the hat, got the glasses. Dr. Shock Freeze with two months in a row. Thank you, Dr. Shock Freeze. I got the, uh, the a new Twitch hoodie because I love hoodies. I wear them all the time. And it's the, and the, it's a Twitch hoodie. It's a thin, like a t-shirty kind of material. A Twitch hoodie in blue. I got me a new a new hoodie. Which I dig. And this this is all stuff I paid for. This is all this is not swag. This is shit I paid for. The only thing, oh, the only thing I got for free from Twitch was this. Was my jersey. It has my name on the back in the 17 for for the 17th or whatever. Um yeah, it's actually blue. I forgot. Oh, chick drummer, you forgot to give me your business card? Oh, dirty. That sucks. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> you're a partner now? All right. Um, and then I got this shirt, which I thought was kind of cool. Away from keyboard shirt. I just thought it was a cool, like, like 80s Miami Vice kind of a theme shirt. I bought that. Thought it was pretty neat. Um, what else did I get? I bought. Oh, I bought. Oh, I bought. That's right. I bought uh, sweatpants. I bought. I. I don't know how much they were. I'm guessing like they were super expensive. But I bought Twitch sweatpants, and I don't know if they have a glitch on them anywhere. Yeah, that's what you're paying for right there. See that? They're like, I don't know, they're good quality sweats, but they're, uh, they were kind of, they were kind of spendy and I, and you're just paying for that glitch right there. You're just paying for that glitch. That's all you're paying for, but I'll wear them anyway. The best way to chat is to have a smoke with them. Also spiced up the shots of you with a nice Japanese commercial overlay for the portfolio. 
You spiced up the shots of me with a nice Japanese commercial overlay for the portfolio. Nice, Johnny. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. Oh, and the per yeah, and the purple strings. The purple string too, and it has a Twitch. It has the Twitch uh, uh, label on it too. It says Twitch right there. So, yeah. No, we paid for that stuff. We paid for that stuff for you. Well, yeah. I mean, if you want to get down to brass tacks, you pay for everything for me. You guys pay for everything. If you want to just, if you want to put it that way, pal, me. Long enough to give you these less than three. Thank you, Tara Flares, with a thousand bits. Thousand bit drop. Much love. Um, let's see. I think that's all the all the stuff that I got from the from the store, the pop up store or whatever. Uh, thank you, Tara Flares, again for the thousand bits, and also we have a new sub. Oh yes, we will welcome our new sub. Uh, Night ABK, may Takarilla bless you and keep you forever and always. Thank you, Night ABK, for that. For that um, sub a dub, I appreciate it. Full price sub, since it's since September and September are both now over. Um, I appreciate I appreciate the sub even more now. Thank you very much. Um. I think that's all the shit I bought, but it ended, it ended up being pretty goddamn expensive. Uh, oh, there's a fanny pack that I got as well that a lot of a lot of people got, and I don't know if I want to go grab it or not. What do, what do you? What's your deal? You're not. I mean, there's you're barking at the wall. You're, are you, oh, do you have the hiccups? Do you have the hiccups, buddy? <laughs> I think my dog might have the hiccups. Um, the fanny pack had some uh, had some weird shit in it. Yeah, maybe. Well, Zeke doesn't want my money. What? What? Your money? What money? What are you talking about? I always want your money. I love everybody's money. <laughs> All right. Uh, hold on one second, guys. I'm going to go grab that fanny pack. Okay. Got the fanny pack. All right. So I got, uh, less than three. Let's see. What did I have in there? Oh, uh, this was actually, thank you very much. Um, to Roycey with the 250 bits. Appreciate that Roycey. Shut up and take my money, Kappa. I will, Dr. Wankenstein. How you doing, doctor? Good to see you. It's a bum bag, fanny pack, whatever. If you call it a fanny pack, it means something different in uh, <laughs> in England, I know, because a fanny is something else. Uh, thank you, Johnny, for 39, Johnny X for 39 months, and Dr. Wankenstein for 31 long months, you guys. Love you guys. Um, this was a godsend. They had, the, they had a booklet with everything in it, with all the events and stuff, because of the... Oh, hold on. Happy one year anniversary. Tanti Augury is hey Tanti Augury is hey Tanti Augury is hey Tanti Augury is a. Please show dog slash white sheep happy face. I do love him smile. <laughs> I will. When, when he comes in here, I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to show him. Um, but this, this, the, thank you very much, Sicilian Blooded, for a year of support. Third stripe on the shield. This had all the stuff in it, which I used because the reception was shit, so the app barely worked. I mean, the app was great when you're not at the con, but once you're at the con, like, rece cell reception was just terrible unless you had, like, I don't know. I don't know which cell, cell company was the best for that, but it wasn't at and I'll tell you that much. But it was cool to have that, so I had all the schedule. That was nice. Um, oh, in the fanny pack, or not in the fanny pack, I forgot. There was one more thing I got for free uh, with this partner shirt. The Twitch partner shirt. I got, uh, they give you a cool uh, battery charger. 
a cell phone a cell phone battery charger. But I mean, obviously they had to get it sponsored, so RuneScape old school is on the uh, on it. But it worked. It's great. I used it. It was fun. Um, let's see what else did I get in my? Oh, this is my. There's my TwitchCon uh, partner badge. Next year they need to make those fucking names way huge. Like at least as large as the word partner, they need to put the name on there or affiliate or three day pass or whatever. They need to make your screen name as big as the partner thing so we can all just look and see who they are, see who, see who people are. Um, <clears throat> let's see, I got um, an advertisement for, this is what I got in the fanny pack, like an advertisement for Prime Now. Uh, Ting, Ting phone service. I don't even know what that is, it's like Bing, but Ting. You can get uh Oh, and they put in the inside the Ting thing, they put a, a SIM card in there. Um let's see. Oh, just just uh advertisement for extensions, advertisement for the Madrinas, the Madrinas cold brew coffee. Advertisement for AK racing chairs. Uh, let's see stickers for a game called icons, which I'm not uh, not familiar with uh, advertisement for razor um, What else did they have in there? I think that was it and then oh, the fanny pack itself. I didn't show you the fanny pack fanny pack just says it says twitchcon on it And it has Kappa inside I think there's $25 worth in the sim card already. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, let's see here. But yeah, we'll we'll go through that. Oh, there was a water bottle in it. Oh, I left the water bottle in my hotel room. I left. It was the G Fuel water thing. I left it in my hotel room. I I remembered because I it like my pack was just both of my my carry on. And my uh, suitcase that I would both of my carry-ons were just stuffed to the gills, and that cup would not fucking fit, dude. It would not fucking fit at all. But uh, it's okay. I, I, I wouldn't use it. I used it there to put beer in. I was drinking beer during the uh, Devolver stream out of my, my G Fuel sippy cup. Um, the, I got new Kappa cards, by the way. If you guys wanted to see it, I got new Kappa cards from uh, uh, Gears Art. Gears Art made me my new Kappa cards that I gave out during my meet and greet, which was cool. Um, at least you're able to get my We're book back. back. Yes, back. I did. No, I had to get that. That was a gift. I don't care about the sippy cup. It's just a container for for. For for liquids, so I'm not really like I don't care about that a whole lot. Um, I don't think I have. Oh, I do. I have one more. I have one left because Johnny Scar, who's an amazing guy. Uh, thank you, Dominate four two three. By the way, for for a year of support, Dominate, you got your year. You got third stripe. Much love. Also, Tony Mary got two years plus one. Twenty five months. One more and welcome back. Thank you, Tony. Good to see you again. Um, it was really hot, uh, but Johnny Scar made these for me, and I gave these out. If you're at my meet and greet, he surprised me with them uh, the day before my meet and greet. So he surprised me with them on Friday, so I could give them out. And I got kind of choked up because they were they're awesome. They're little they're pins. They're little flaming heart pins. So if you were at my meet and greet, you got one of these and a Kappa card. So it was amazing. It was amazing. Thank you to Johnny for that. Um, okay. So, that's all the stuff. I think. Did you get your ma something? I'm sure I could get her. I'm sure I could give her something in this. <laughs> Wheels! What's up, Wheels? It was awesome meeting and talking to you this weekend. It was awesome meeting and talking to you too, Wheels. Uh, we'll get to you. Uh, we're gonna go through some pictures now. Let's get to the let's get to the picture picture portion of this of this journey. 
All right. So the picture portion of this journey. Oh, I forgot the... Uh, One more month until our four-year baby. Oh. Fuck yeah. Hold on. I forgot the thing that 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 um, the Mrs. Scott Evans was most excited about. Hold on. Okay. So there was one more thing in that fanny pack that the Mrs. Scott Evans was like, this is the best thing in the pack. And I, I put it on my bed and I was going to bring it. It's a TwitchCon 2017 Sharpie, purple Sharpie. She was like, that is the best thing ever. And I was like, really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. I get you. All right. No problem. No problem. Uh, and there's Xander Bain. One more month till our four year baby. Fuck yeah. What up, Xander? Good to see you. <laughs> let's, and let's see. Let's see who, who actually gave me cards. Because I have, I have the, I have a whole bunch of cards. I got cards from uh, Foreign Trees, Lucarius, uh, Pomelin, uh, Eric Willis, Alagaisha, Vi Beat Fu, uh, Nell Star Fifteen. Uh, from Sam Chet Shamanom Shamanom TV uh, let's see uh, Beaker 55588 Tech and Junk uh, Nega Oryx J Pie Bad Gamer Elite. Well, there's Shamanam. Again, uh, let's see. Define Human Studios. Dukes88. Oh, Stephen Levitt from Noble Chairs. Marcos from Fleshlight. I got the, I got the Fleshlight business card. I'm going to get a hold of him and see if I can't get like a like a sponsor. Um, let's see. Black Reaper. And. Uh, Atom Skew. Adam Skew. Kite Adam Skew. Those are the, those are the cards. Oh, I got it. And I got a keychain card from Everay. Keychain card from Everay. And I got another keychain card from uh, Desperado, Triple X Desperado. A couple of keychain cards there. Those are cool. Okay. Now, oh, and also, also, <laughs> I have a whole, I have, I have three, three of these that I didn't use. Because uh, the, there was a Kappa Cabana beer garden outside, so I, I drank beer there. But someone gave me three Bud Light, free Bud Light tags that I didn't use, which I feel bad about. I should have gotten those. I should have uh, grabbed all three beers and just pounded them. Um, let's see. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Smarty Girl. There, there she is. Smarty Girl forty or Smarty Girl seven gave them, gave those to me, and I never used them. I'm sorry, Smarty Girl. I apologize. Uh, G Car, I am the greatest streamer on Twitch. Thank you for recognizing the truth. Um, <clears throat> I didn't use. Yeah, I didn't use mine either. Yeah. Um, and we'll get to you, Smarty Girl, as well. But let's let's go to pictures. Picture time here. Um, this is the first picture from the Salt Lake City Airport. This is me and Miss Merck. She has a Kalu and Kareem, and I have a, a mimosa. This was at 8 o'clock in the morning in Salt Lake City. Um, this is me. This is my first picture in first class. I took a picture from first class with my uh, my Bloody Mary. The only time I've ever flown first class. I, I actually just, I just paid a little extra to go first class because I've never done it before. And it was great, but it's not 
It's not worth the money unless it's like super cheap. Um, <clears throat> all right. Got a picture with, with Force of Hell. This is my uh, second or third picture. I'm not sure. Oh, year three. There it is. Year three of running into this legend. Yep. Force of Hell. And this is uh, Matrix Overshock. Got the gray face, no space shirt on. Uh, the first time I... The first uh, first time I saw my shirt at the place, this is uh, Eidolon86. I saw him coming down the steps, and I went, hey, nice shirt. And he goes, oh, my God. It's great. It's a fangirl moment. <laughs> That's Eidolon. Um, this is just this is just the TwitchCon retweeting the picture of me, like, like bring it on kind of a thing. Uh, oh, this is at my motel. First night staying at the motel. Shirtless. And I think in the motel you have to be you have to be shirtless if you walk around outside of it. So I was just you know complying, complying with that. Um, you just got home from taking Kate to the airport. Oh, that's, I'm sorry. Hmm, that's sad. Uh, this is oh dread sorrow. This is all first day stuff. I'm going in chronological order. Me and dread sorrow first day outside. This is the Twitch party uh, partner party. Excuse me. This is the Twitch partner party, and the line was fucking bonkers to get in. It was like an hour I had to wait. And I get inside, and this is what happens. I get inside, and I see uh, I see Witwix inside. I'm like, hey, how's it going, man? He goes, did you just get in? I went, yeah. He goes, I just went to the front and just kind of like walked in. I was like, yeah, I probably could have done that, but I don't know. <laughs> I, felt, I would feel weird. It's the it's the partner party and I'm not being paid to be there. I'm not like an employee. So I I waited in the fucking line. Um I heard you were at a nice four star hotel. No, I was not at a nice four four star hotel. I was at a motel. I was at the Days in Long Beach. And it was and cuz I bought it myself and it was cheap. It was cheap. Um oh there's the sticky the sticky art that I showed you guys that he gave to me. Um oh this is first night Denny's. First night, Denny's having a cup of coffee with uh, with Lorg and Man vs. Game, and uh, this is the t- this is the moment when um, got done with my got done with my breakfast. I get up, and my brother and like Jack Fear and a bunch of people were coming to this Denny's because the other Denny's the cook had like quit or something, so they just shut the kitchen down, and everybody at that Denny's like got fucked out of their meal, so they came to this one, and. Uh, uh, I saw a bunch of people there, and I saw um, I saw it's the Kellys there, Tina, and I was so fucking drunk I did not even like I didn't know who it was. I was just like, "Hi, we met before." It's like you're kidding, right? And I went, "Oh, I'm sorry, Tina. I'm sorry. I'm sorry." <laughs> I was fucking hammered. Um. Goes to LA, still goes to Denny's. Well, a 24-hour restaurant. It was like 2 in the morning or 2.30 or something like that. Um, this I saw. This is a great this great piece of advice <laughs> from the LA streets. Eat butts, lick butts. I thought that was some that was some street art. Good job, whoever did that. Eat butts, lick butts. Very, very good, uh, very good advice. Um <laughs> And that was the same night. Yeah, the Gilly, the, what, what was the name? Someone tweeted at me while they were in line. And it's like, I just walked past Zeke at Denny's. And I, can I, I, it said like that had been posted like two minutes ago. So I got up and was like, where's Gilly guy? Gilly guy, where are you? Are you here in Denny's? <laughs> just shouting like an asshole because he had just tweeted at me. It was terrible. It was terrible. Um... But yeah, so that's probably that's what that's what DP was talking about. Um, oh, Phelan got to see Phelan, and look, it's like it's weird because Phelan lost weight, and I gained it. Like, look, I'm way thinner here; he's a little bit chunkier, and now he's lost the weight, and I've gained it. <laughs> I've gained the weight he lost. I ate his weight. Um. <laughs> So that's nice. No, Gilly Guy did not respond. Um, here is all achievements unlocked. Spotting me from the balcony. 
chilling out with people uh, uh, at the entrance, the downstairs main entrance. Um, yeah, I did go up to a couple of different people. I was like, hey, are you Gilly Guy? Who's Gilly Guy? Anybody Gilly Guy in this in this party? It was it was bad. It was bad. Um, uh, oh, there's my buddy Don Fubar doing the H1Z1 thing. Uh, there's Vampy Monster. Got to see her quite a bit at this this event. She's a sweetheart. There's Smarty Girl. Uh, there's, okay. And then we have Fernmeister. Took a picture with Fernmeister. Inside, we hung out during the, during the, uh, commencement in the H1Z1. Uh, I want to say, Matt, he found out his community couldn't get in the Twitch party, so he said, fuck it, and hung out with his viewers instead. Yeah, the Twitch party, that, that's coming up. I'll talk about that, but, um, the commencement, or excuse me, the keynote address... They, they were turning people away, and Scott will let you know, they were turning people away for the, the keynote theater, even though there were seats available, apparently. Because I went, I was late, but I was going to get in there. Scott had seat saves for me. I walked in, and they were like, nope, full. I was like, fuck. So they had the speech in the H1Z1 arena. Like, they had it up on the screens, and everybody was listening. And it was the, the keynote started a half an hour late. And the H1Z1 arena thing had a schedule to keep. So right when they started talking about like extensions, it's like next up, Twitch extensions. And then it was like, screen off, H1Z1 begins in one minute. And I was just like, fuck. So anything from that point on, I missed. I missed uh, the achievement thing, the like the partner or the affiliate achievement thing. I missed all of that. But I was hung- I was hanging out with, uh, with uh, Fern Meister and a couple of other people. Uh, watching that in the H1Z1 arena. Um, this is oh, this was cool. Like I was wearing my my uh, Mr. Business shirt, and there's Jack Schreiker, longtime viewer, hanging out, has his own Mr. Business shirt. This was probably the most popular shirt I saw of my own at TwitchCon. I saw like at least five or six different people wearing the Mr. Business shirt. Um. <laughs> Didn't Don Fubar act real douchey when awarding the trophies? I heard something about that, but I'm not... I don't know. I'll have to get the story from him to see what happened. But as far as I know, like, I heard some some back and forth stuff about that, or I saw it on Twitter, but I don't know the full story. I think he was following... Not following orders, per se, but, um, like, uh, following what the organizers told him to do. I'm pretty sure. Um... Anyway, uh, there's Miss Jinx. Uh, J- oh, there's Jay Pie. He was at he was at my first panel, my um, my uh, Twitch hosting panel with uh, um, uh, Rachel and and uh, Kelly and Andrew and uh, Squan. We were talking about what it takes to be a host. We give an hour, a little bit of an uh, question and answer, an hour seminar about that. Um, let's see. Oh, and this is, oh, look at this. Here's Smarty Girl and Takai420. They're matching Flaming Heart tattoos. They show me those, like, they got those when they were there. One's on the wrist and one's on the shoulder. And, uh, holy hell. That, that's pretty fucking amazing, Right? Really, really cool. And I tweeted Julia. I uh, said, thank you, Julia, for making the best emote on Twitch. Awesome. Yep. Smarty Girls was on the wrist. Yep. Yep. Look, well, you can see the scabbing. I mean, look at the scabbing. Like, it's real. That shit's real. <laughs> um, this, this might be the best picture from TwitchCon. This might be... The fucking best picture from TwitchCon. This was the Kaiju big battle. We were like the appetizer. That picture was so fucking awesome. Um, this uh, There's cereal. Cause, oh, there's John Carnage. Um, 
There was cereal on the fucking wrestling mat because John Carnage had a suitcase full of like special care Rice Krispies or something. And uh, yeah, so I got on top of Jericho and he grabbed some of it and he's throwing it in my face as I'm like screaming and yelling and shit. And these are the like the the all the Hulk Hogan's besides Tangent Gaming. All the Hulk Hogan's were people from like the Devolver Studios, like Nigel and uh, Dose One and and a couple of other people, uh, uh, Jam from um, the Devolver Studios. They got all dressed up as Hulksters, Hulkamaniacs, and came in. And there's uh, Okadrian in the back there. That was fucking fun, dude. That was amazing. We need more of that. We need more of that at Twitch. We need more of that. Um, there is I, there is a picture somewhere of me, I'm guessing in this, of me biting a shoe. Um, <clears throat> biting Jericho's shoe. I don't know. I think it's in here, but I'm not sure. But that Kaiju Big Battle shit, that was so much fun. I, it was so camp and just like some of the costumes were amazing and some of them were just terrible and just being like close to it and, and letting the ridiculousness of it all just wash over you and, you know, booing the heels and cheering the heroes and shit like that. So much fun. We started chants like, like, uh, you know, there's this guy named American Beetle and we're USA, USA. And then John Carnage comes back out and he's got like this tinfoil hat on. He's all mind controlled by Dr. Cube. And we're like, Carnage sucks. Carnage sucks. And so like that, it was so much fun, man. That was, it was a ton of fun. Soup. There it is. Yeah. The can of soup. <laughs> we started that chant. The can of soup. He was just a dude in a, in a can of soup. It was his costume with sweats on. Soup, there it is. Soup, there it is. It was great, man. It was a lot of fun. Uh, there's Knives and Faminki. Knives, Knives uh, uh, insisted on fucking photobombing that shit. But this is my first picture with Faminki. She's lovely. Um, Like, I don't use the word adorable a lot, but Faminki is, like, supremely adorable. Um, oh, and there's, there's a... Finally, a picture with me and Knives, and I'm sweaty because this is like right, right after the kaiju thing. I'm just, I'm a fucking sweaty mess, sweaty mess. Um, but finally got a picture with Knives. This is our, this is our first mod dinner, sort of. It just was an impromptu mod dinner because we were all just fucking exhausted, and we were supposed to go to the roast of Jericho. And I was like, all right, where's the roast? And the, all these guys were like, we're not going to go. We're hungry. Let's, uh, we're going to go get some food. And I went, perfect. Me too. I'm hungry. Let's get food. Starving. Got there. We all had, we had Mexican food. We drank. It was at a place called Tequila Jack's, I think, or something like that. Uh, we got, we got Brownie C. We got uh, Sitley. There's Rock Your Socks right there. That's uh, Ms. Chaotica's right there. At Ezekiel underscore three, a good friend to support. Oh, thank you, Trash Hunter. It's good to see you. Good to meet you. Um, there's uh, Lima Zulu Tango, Mr. Scott Evans. The Mrs. Scott Evans. You can see her boobs right there. She's behind. Uh, there's Femi and right there. And, uh, oh, Handicap Hobo, who had, who's been a longtime friend and a viewer and all this kind of stuff, member of the community. He had, like, such a shit time getting to TwitchCon. He finally made it there this day, called him up. And he came and sat down, like, next to me. Like, uh, I was at the head of the table. And he came down and sat next to me. And you should have seen the look on his face when he fucking had the first drink of beer. He grabbed a Dos Equis and he was like, Oh, you don't even know. And I was like, I get you. I get you, pal. <laughs> All hail, Takarilla. All hail, Takarilla. Thank you. Oh, there's Lima Zulu. There he is. Right there. And he's in the chat. Hey, how's it going? Uh, JP Dalimar with four months in a row as well as Lee Mazzula with five. Oh, hi, Chad and Zeke. And thank you, Trash Hunter, for those 1,500 bits. I appreciate that. Um, let's see. Uh, there's Venarian. Vinarian. Got a picture with him outside of the, um, outside of the restaurant. Uh, oh, this is me and DP on DP's birthday. Me and DP had a had a little had a little moment. We were chatting and stuff. Um, what ended up happening was I had left this place 
where I had had dinner, that Mexican restaurant, where I'd had dinner to go meet up with DP, finally found him, and he was starving. We looked and looked and looked for a place, and this was the closest and best place that was open. So I went back to the same restaurant with DP, found out it was his fucking birthday, had no idea it was his birthday. So we had we had some Patron, he had some quesadillas and shit, and uh, Divine, Divine the Killer hung out with us and took that picture. Uh, yeah, Divine the Killer, that's who took that picture. Um... No, this is... They almost were done serving food at that time. (laughs) Let's see. Oh, is this this the foot? Yep, there's the foot bite. There's, (laughs) There's me biting the foot of Jericho with a Hulkamaniac standing around. I'm just chowing on that foot, man. Ah, creature. Creature with the beans of green. <laughs> that was a great picture. Rock Your Socks took that picture. It was a great one. Good, good, good capture. Uh, how do you not know when his birthday is? We just don't care about each other's birthday, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's see here. What else? Uh, oh, Gorgalicious took a picture of Gorgalicious. I don't know where either of us are looking in this picture, but it's certainly not at the camera. (laughs) Uh, I'm not sure when exactly this was taken, but uh, I'm sweaty. So it was like towards the end of the day, I'm guessing. Um, Oh, Scrubzilla. Scrubzilla, we got a chance to to hang out outside and talk. Uh, Me and him and, uh, oh, Adam Coble was there, was standing there too. I think Adam actually took this picture. Uh, but we talked about role playing in Dungeons and Dragons and stuff. Uh, let's welcome our brand new sub, Harley Hero. Thank you, Harley Hero, for that new sub. I appreciate it. Welcome back. It's good to see you. Uh, this is Tio Mario. Took a, took a pic. Uh, this is during. Where was this? I want to say this is the first day. I think it was the first day. Not positive. Um, oh, this is this is how I got ready for the for TwitchCon day two. <laughs> Just getting uh, getting prepared, you know, getting prepared for TwitchCon day two. Uh, and then Mentalberry, I love I love what he did with this. Like, oh, look at this IRL channels, Da-da-da. and then Taco Bell, the aftermath. <laughs> Fucking nice work, dude. Nice work. Mental very. He always does the best stuff. Um, oh, and then we got gay with Twitch. Welcome back, bud. Thank so you. you. Sexy looks. I tried to keep my sexy looks, Joker. I really did. Um, and then we got gay with Twitch. This was a fucking awesome panel. Uh, you see Adam Coble, Abe Dylan, uh, uh, S- Steph. God, what is that? What is it? It's for ro- furiously. She she is a like Grand Master Hots player. Um, this is oh Distracted Elf, UGR Gaming, and of course Ammunition. We're all there. Um, and and saw me taking the picture. That's why her face is like that. She saw me because I was like trying to frame it up right, and she looked at she looked directly at me, and she was she made that face on fucking purpose, which is one of the reasons why I love Anne. She is so great. And uh, during, if you didn't get a chance to check out this panel, check this fucking panel out. It was great. It was informative. And it was very funny. There's a lot of very funny moments in this panel. It's great. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, there's Gaming Rocket with his, uh, <laughs> his Deadpool uh, mask on. Let's see. There's oh Mike Zorse, right? This is this is all this is my my uh, meet and greet. The panels are all on Twitch vods, right? Yeah, I would hope so. I enjoy watching your host panel. You did all right. People were bitching about you swearing. Who was bitching about me swearing? If they were bitching about me swearing, they can go fuck themselves because. 
They didn't pay me to be on a panel. If you're paying me, then you can tell me what words I can and cannot say. But if you want me to be on a panel for free, you're going to get Zeke, period. <laughs> you're going to get the me, me, real me, non-edited me. <laughs> but if you're paying me, then yeah, I'll watch my fucking language. But if, if you're asking me to volunteer my time, you're getting me. <laughs> uh, what was that? Uh, my panel called... What was my panel called? Uh, it was called hosting on Twitch. Hold on, I have it right here. No, I'm I'm I. These pictures definitely show off my gut. I'm chunky. I am a chunk motherfucker right now, and I need I could stand to lose like at least fifty pounds again. Um, it was called. Uh, oh, just called hosting panel. In the book, at least, it's just called Hosting Panel. Um, the Geohawk. He want he he wants me to play. He wants me to finish up Blade Runner and and maybe maybe start Wing Commander. <laughs> he was he was a cool guy, very nice guy. Uh, there's Dash, not that not not DP's Dash, but a different Dash. Um. Oh, he was he knew me from role playing from uh the Blades, role play Blades in the Dark. And I, I I talked to him, I walked and talked to him uh in the Aldo voice, which is hard to do without a microphone because um <clears throat> cuz it's so low. I talk it's such a low register. It's tough for me to uh to make it loud enough to hear. Um thank you Pete Cox for 7 months in a row. Welcome back. Good to have you. Um they're sweeps. Hanging out with this guy's yeah, sweeps. Taking pictures for the meet and greet. There's Wankenstein. There you are. And I asked Maniacal Secret and Wankenstein. And I asked them. I said, I asked, I said, do you say Wankenstein or Wankenstein? And he goes, either way, man. I was like, all right, all right. I thought you'd be particular about it, but it's awesome. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I know, I know, I, I saw John in the chat there, Zuckus. All right, uh, there's Jack again, Jack Schreiker, wearing the, wearing the, the TwitchCon exclusive Z shirt from, uh, Design by Humans. Um, this is, oh, Keith Leaf, yeah. Gotta take a picture with these guys during the meet and greet. Gave them pins and cards and said, hey. There's, oh, there's Handsome Jack Boy, of course, the uh, the man impersonator who uh, was doing the MV game face, <laughs> which which I was like, he's, I'm going to do the MV game face. And I was like, all right, I'm going to look disgusted at you. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> uh, but he was cool, man. Um, Fusion Titan. We took, he, had, he was wearing the same, I had it in my bag. I was wearing that that day, and it was too hot, so I put it in my bag, and I got it out so we could take our, our twinsy pictures together. Uh, you have a community with amazing mods and viewers, just FYI. Thank you, Lima. I believe I believe the same thing. You rock the fuck out of that Twitch on Sizzy. The, the Twitch onesie. Thank you, Loki84, and thank you for eight months. I appreciate it. I did have an amazing time, Bunny Mountain. I had a great time. Um, and there's Incognito... Total biscuit himself, and uh, that he's he's easy to talk to and really cool. But um, it was funny to watch him, like because I saw him twice. This was like during my like right before my meet and greet, and uh, like I know how busy that cat is. I'm sure. So it was like, hey, how's it going? Oh, I was going to take a picture. Yep, yep. And then he just he bolted. And then I saw him again the next day, like that. He's like walks with a fucking purpose. He's just like, <laughs> like head down, just <laughs> beelines wherever he's going. Um, let's see. Oh, bang flop. Got to take a picture of bang flop and that. Um, I I berated him for wearing this shirt to my line, and for wearing this shirt at all at TwitchCon. Because Co wasn't there, because 
babies. But I also commended this this shirt because I have the same one. Um. Oh, there's Andy Zio. Andy Zio uh, from Sour Kool-Aid Show is cool again. Saw him in Artist Alley. Uh, he had to remind me who he was, and then when he said Andy, I was like, "Oh, you're the you're the, you're the cool again who gets his message messages deleted all the time." Um, and this is the Savage Beer, <laughs> Sav or excuse me, Savage Bear. We have uh, the uh, look at look at the look. At, not only are we touching beards, we have sim like long hair. Look at like look at this. Look at our bellies. Look at our bellies. <laughs> I just noticed that, like, we should have just done a belly pick where we did just touch beards and then touch bellies. <laughs> um, and, uh, oh, Mr. Bladder, Mr. Bladder, long, long time viewer, long time uh, uh, community member of this community. It's good to see him again. Um, and the funny thing is, the next time I saw him, or no, this time, it was this time, he was like, I've been waiting your meet and greet line for a minute. I, I just got to take a quick picture and then I got to go pee. And I was like, so it would be bad if I like poked Mr. Bladder's bladder. <laughs> and I really did. I just wanted to like, uh, and he, like I motioned towards him. He's like, dude, don't. It's going to get some emergency. It's going to get bad. <laughs> um, oh, Spidey lover. Spidey lover was there. I met, he's even hotter in person and more kind. Uh, lies. All lies. Uh, oh, and this is, yep. Here's a uh, fucking Lord didn't even tag me in this picture. Didn't tag me or Eddie. Asshole. But I found it. So it's me, uh, me, Lorg, and Eddie Monster. It was a pretty good picture, I thought. I like, I love the, I love the, uh, the El Tigre, La Tigre. That uh, Eddie's doing there. <laughs> um, oh, this is... I don't know if I have sound. But this is the... Um, the line... Living at car life. Living at the line... Car line life, in trying to get in. I need a blessing. I need a blessing to get in early. Bless me. And there's D Yoshi. You know, uh, bless RNG. He was there waiting in line with me to get in. He's cool. I've hung out with him before. Uh, beat me out of the uh, of the PJ Sultan uh, last TwitchCon to get that um, the global emote. Uh, but this this was really fucking cool that I how many you can name there? that I had no idea. Come on. Just go to the beginning. Come. What are you doing? Why are you so slow? Okay. Here I am at the design by a human's mural. This was awesome, the dude. Stars and celebrities of Twitch.tv. See how many you can name there. And then the star of the show. This guy right there. Handsome. Mother I'm anime. Anime is real. Anime is real. <laughs> but there is all kinds of 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 different uh like I knew probably 80 85% of the people on that. It was a really cool, cool mural, and they didn't tell any. I didn't. They didn't tell me that they were going to do it. Someone just said, "Did you see the DBH mural?" I went, "No," and I went over there and I went, "I'm on there! Oh my god, that's amazing! So excited!" Um, let's see. Yeah, Sacriel's on there. Here I am at the okay, hold on. Mural. Okay, hold on. C so bad. So, so bad. It's so the Twitter player is so bad. Okay, stop. Pause it. There we go. Uh there's uh Man vs. Game. Uh but uh, hold on, let me get a new sub in here. Let's welcome this brand new sub, Jackie Justice. 
May Tuggerilla bless you and keep you forever and for always. Thank you very much, Jackie, for that new sub. I appreciate it. Uh, so we got we got Man, uh, we got uh, um, Bajira, we've got uh, 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 um, uh, fucking Eli, Sheriff Eli. Um, it's kind of hard to see now because it's the video quality sucks. Um, I think that's Tim. Uh, we got Geo, Gold Glove, Strippin, uh, the Doc, of course. Lyric is right here. Crip, okay, Crip. Oh, come on, you garbage piece of shit. Oh, this is terrible, man. This is terrible. Uh, oh, Firefox is there, yep. Oh, it's so bad. Uh, bike man, yeah, bike man. That's bike. One of these is bike man. I can't remember which one it is. Come on, come on. Just play the fucking thing. Oh, Jackie's, oh, Jackie's his fiance. Hello, Jackie. Oh, you for keeping me alive and sanish this past weekend. Well, thank you. Oh, my God. This is, it's a fucking nightmare to try and get this to work. Wow. It's terrible. If I, what if I just, if I pop it out like this, will it work better? Oh, my God. You know what? Fuck this. I'll look at it later. All right. Yeah, there's Summit. Summit's on there. Dan Dan's Gaming, Waffle, Renee, Ammunition is on there. Um, Pocket, Broman, uh, uh, Bacon Donut, uh, Gassy Mexican. But I recognize quite a bit, quite a few of them. Um, there. Okay, this is day three. Started day three. This is noon. Hanging out with Jimmy Wisnunt, Twitch employee guy, and uh, we're having beers at noon in the Capacabana Beer Garden place. Um, oh, and this is me and uh, me and Brendan, player unknown himself. He wasn't drinking, but I was. He was hanging out in the the cabana, sitting, chilling, chatting. Um, here's OG Aristotle, also apparently in the beer garden. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Oh, and this is this is the uh, the imposter. The Devolver Public Access was like coming up next, Zeke three, and I was like, "Come on, man! You guys know better than that." Bunch of dicks. <laughs> uh, this is the oh, this is the uh, uh, fanboys panel. Of course, Wheaton, Jeff, Adam, DJ Tech Live. There's a, oh, this is Deuce. My picture with Deuce. It's a good good shot of the onesie with my, I had the fanny pack on. Uh, here's, oh, Dr. Shock Freeze, you're here. Dr. Shock Freeze, it was cool. He proposed, I said yes. I did. We, we, uh. Where you left before it ended. Oh, it's because I wanted to get to our, our, I wanted to get to the mod dinner Ahead of everybody, the mod gathering. I wanted to be there before everybody else. I think is why I left. Um, Geneasy took a picture. Look at that! Look at that! Oh man, that fanny pack really accentuates that gut, don't it? Oh yeah, that's a, that's like the third. That's the day three of TwitchCon, and it's just full of beer and Mexican food. It's just whoa. Woo! <laughs> Loving that. <laughs> Is that fanny pack just made my gut like like hang over the top? It was great. Um man, and this picture got so many likes. <laughs> Why did this picture get so many fucking likes? It's, I mean, I I think I understand why, but <laughs> Just confused, 
as fuck. Full body onesie picture. It's a fantastic picture. Um, uh, here's me and Natalie. Garbage, the garbage people of the internet. Me and Nat outside the Devolver booth. She was getting ready to do her stream. Um, oh, this is DJ Wheat's mom. Oh my God, this was so awesome. DJ Wheat's mom, she was awesome. I got to tell her like how uh, how influential her son was and how great he's been to me, you know, throughout Twitch, my Twitch career or whatever. And uh, her hair, I can totally see where he gets it, man, because her hair was just like thick and quaffed and looking, looking awesome. Like it's. You couldn't even get you can't even get a brush through that shit. It's so thick. Uh, oh, this is probably the best one of the best picks from Twitter or from uh, from TwitchCon. One of the best gifts. If I can get it to work. If it'll actually do it. Yeah, the J the J Justice kiss. Pretty great. Pretty great. He was he. What you can't see is um, Vesper Von Doom. Um, what you can't see is Vesper Von Doom made him up, like gave him a makeover. So he's got like the eyes, the lipstick, the the foundation, all the shit. He's got all of that. And then we got a new sub. Oh ho ho. Whoops, that's the wrong one. Welcome to On Your Knees. Get on your knees and pray to Taco Rilla. Thank you, On Your Knees. What a great fucking screen name. And thank you for the new sub. I do appreciate it. Um, why are you kissing another man? I am not kissing another man. I was kissed. This is him. He's a very powerful human being. He grabbed me. And he kissed me hard. He kissed me hard for a long time. It was like a like a twelve second kiss. Um, there's a, a Valley Val. Took a picture of this. It was during the uh, the meet and greet. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's Harley Hero. There you are, Harley Hero. Got two pictures on separate days. One during the meet and greet, and one the, one day three. It was nice. Good pictures. This was, I, okay, let me get this brand new believer, new believer 60, 60 the 7th, welcome to the church of Tacorilla, may he bless you and keep you now and always, thank you 60, appreciate that, um, uh, day, the day after the mod dinner, oh, there's, okay, hold on, we've got a link here. Oh, check. There he is. There's, there's Jay getting made up by Vesper. Looking hot. I don't envy I don't envy the stubble, though. That's got to be hard. That's got to be hard to get the makeup on, like, over the stubble, through the stubble. That's got to be difficult. But you did it. Thank you. Um... Oh, uh, I was more hungover than I've ever been in my entire life, and that's fucking saying something after the mod dinner thing, because we went to the mod dinner thing, got kicked out of the the suite at like 10, 10.30, went to another bar, met uh, uh, Pixelina for the first time, and we had this, like, we were drunk as shit having this existential chat about something, and uh, I just continued to drink and drink and drink, and people were, were contacting me, like, I was I was drunk tweeting, and I was drunk tweeting like I was mean. I was be, I was doing saying some mean things, and I don't know what I was saying because I deleted them. But I got some people like DMing me, going, "Dude, are you all right?" I'm like, I I am now. Just I don't know what happened. I have no idea what I was saying. I deleted all of them <laughs> because it was probably bad. Um, so people were having to tell me like, yeah, you were getting real mean and real snippy on, on Twitter. You were drunk tweeting and it's like, oh fuck. That sounds like me. That's terrible. It's because it was the last day. I wanted to do it upright. Um, 
but I don't remember what I was said. But here's how the day the day started when I woke up. I woke up at like 10. My head was fucking two sizes, three sizes too small. I had not packed yet. I'm guessing checkout was 11, but I don't know. So I just got up and I fucking packed. I took a shower, packed all my shit, got it all out of the hotel room by 11.15, checked out, handed my key over, my, my little key card, said, room 217, checking out. I walked around the corner, sat down on this little like brick thing, put my, like, put my bags down on the ground, and then turn around and fucking puked behind a bush. So I was just like, 217, checking out, round the corner, lay the bags down. Uh oh, bad. Turn around, get behind the bush. <laughs> then sat there, sat down for like a, another like 45 minutes, just going, wow, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. I need food. So I got food. And um, I looked up, I was like, Google Maps restaurants. First top of the list, top of the list for restaurants, Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. And I went, that's fucking perfect. So I get an Uber to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. I'm going there by myself. Walk in. And there was like, I, I wish I would have taken a picture. There was like 20 people I knew their knives was there. My brother showed up. Jack LaFear was there. Uh, Badger was there. Like there was ton uh, uh, Tina was there. There were tons of people that I knew at the chicken and waffles place. And I went, this was kind of fate. I think this is kind of supposed to happen. So I got to eat breakfast with those guys. Had some chicken and waffles. It was delicious. Um, no, I didn't ditch cream. I asked him where he was eating. Cause I saw his picture. His picture was this. I said, where the fuck are you? And he was in, he was already at the, the airport and my flight didn't leave until 6 PM. So I was stuck in Long Beach for many hours. So I didn't want to go to the airport yet. So I didn't meet up with him. If it was outside of the airport, I would have done it, but it's, he was in the terminal. So I didn't go. Um, but I went to Rusty's and Waffles, met a whole bunch of people there, had some great chicken and waffles and, and it was delicious. Um, Oh, and these are more pictures from the con because sometimes people don't post them until they get home or whatever. So this is kind of out of chronological order, but this is Wheels. Wheels was really cool. He's wearing a Warwick shirt. Uh, I got to meet him. He makes uh, like crochet animals or cro like crochet uh, um, dolls. I guess dolls would be a proper, proper term for it. He had, I wish I would have had it in the picture, but he had a crochet that he made of... Pennywise, the new Pennywise the Clown. And it was fucking awesome. Um, so I got his card. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look him up. I want him. I don't know if Wheels is still here, but I want him to make me like a crocheted fuck knuckle, like a hammer, like a mini crochet hammer. So I can like bring it and hit people with it at TwitchCon and stuff. Uh oh, you tweeted a picture. Oh, the devolver booth. Okay, cool. Oh, you are here. There you go, Wheels. Yeah, I want to commission you to do that at some point in time. We gotta, we gotta hook up and and figure out how much I pay you for that because I really want one. Um, there's Magic Afro. Picture that that was just posted. Uh, there's uh, oh French Toast, yes, French Toast, hanging out in the onesie. There's oh there's the Johnny one. Took took some glamour photos of me in my fucking onesie that were just ah oh, they're just glorious, just glorious. Um, hold on one second here. Oh, this is, this is a good picture. Let me retweet that real quick. That was, that's a good picture. And then, oh, this is a good picture too. Let me retweet that one too. Okay. So we got a couple of more, couple more, um, pictures. This is. Me and Bree and Scott. And there's Jay in the back. But this is during, this is at the mod gathering, mod dinner, mod drinking party, whatever. Um, I love these guys. I love these guys. 
And uh, one more from... Oh, this is what... Uh, I spent an hour at the Devolver booth streaming Ruiner, and I had Sitley, Sitley come sit with me. It was nice. Um, oh, there's Glam. What now? Oh, I see. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on one second here. So apparently there's more... Oh, <laughs> what is this? Anessa. <laughs> it, oh, it's for, it's for like, uh, is it for sunblock? Yeah, SPF. Yeah, it's for fucking sunblock. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Um, Yeah, so that was my, that was my TwitchCon. Uh, I will say that I, I, I didn't go to the TwitchCon party. Like the, the official party party. I didn't go to the official party because um, I had a panel on the on that day until my panel got out at about 8.45 and the line started. I think they allowed you to start lining up like early, like seven, six or seven or whatever. And by the time I got out of my panel and figured out what was going on, I was texting people and they were like, this is a fucking nightmare. And... I could have gone to it later in the evening at like 10 or whatever and got in the partner line, but I didn't want, I did the whole point of that is to go and party with all of my, with everybody. I want to party with everybody. I don't want to go there and have like all of my friends not go because their, their line is fucking two hours long or whatever. And my line is like 20 minutes. So I'd be in there. Without them, and I didn't want to do that, um, so I ended up just uh, uh, going going back to that Mexican restaurant. I'm not kidding you. Going back for the third time with uh, uh, Brownie and Sitley and Miss Chaotica to have more drinks and more more Mexican food. <laughs> um, we had a new sub. We had an old sub. Hold on, Doc Doctor Claw. Let's party. Thank you, Dr. Claw. Welcome back. And we have another new sub to welcome. Sparks 5. Welcome to the Church of Tuckerilla. All right. Thank you, Sparks, for that new sub. I appreciate it. Um, the restaurant was good. Uh, let's see. Were the IRL streamers as bad as everyone was saying? I saw clips. I, I was not privy to the badness of it, but I saw some clips and I heard some stories Dude, the clips that I saw, fucking terrible, like deplorable behavior, like just people just being awful to each other for the sake of being awful. And it was, it, it really hurt my, it hurt my heart a little bit to see, like, I get like making fun of people and making jokes and stuff and, and, you know, being, being just Generally rambunctious and obnoxious. Like, ob obviously, I get that. But there's a... Man, there's a line and some... Some of the people, I think, definitely crossed, crossed the line. I didn't have a problem with IRL people, like, wherever. I think it should have... I think it probably should have been disallowed at the parties. Because people are drinking and, and wanting to have, like relaxed, intimate moments with friends and stuff. At the con itself, sure, IRL all you want. But at the parties and stuff, I don't know, man. I don't think I don't think it should be in the parties. And people people had arguments like, yeah, it's like complaining about streaming during a streaming convention. It's like, yeah, but at a porno convention, like if you go to like the AVN Awards, like you can't just grab somebody and fuck them right there, you know? You can't just fuck in the hallway. There's decorum to follow. That's my two cents, you know? I can only speak from experience, and I never had it in my face or had it bother me personally, but I know it was shitty to other people. Um, anyway... Yeah. 
But that's, I mean, that's all I have to say. Like I have, I have only my own experience and what I have seen. And it's just, I just, I, I just wish people would be kinder to each other. I guess <laughs> if you want to get fucking hippy dippy about it, it's like, man, we should be nicer to each other. Like it's one thing to, to, to make jokes and make fun. But when it starts getting scary, when you make someone fear for their safety, that's over the line, you know? Right. Cause I know there are people out there who got, you know, fucking harassed badly and have, were made to fear for their safety. And it was terrible. Um, let me get some other people. Let me get this new person welcomed. Try war. Welcome to Zikoni. Uh. Thank you, Try War. Very nice. Very, very nice of you. With the new sub. Um, I was watching the call optional and Dodger was talking about how her and Stribbin were talking to this girl and all of a sudden figured out she was streaming when she brought her phone up to show his shirt. At least you can do is tell people you're streaming. Well, that's the thing. That's you could you could feasibly sue people for for filming you without your permission, right? Like that is a possibility that I that I hope starts happening. I hope people start getting like lawyered up when they don't want to be on camera. And it sucks that even if you threaten that kind of stuff, the people with like huge, huge audience of immature adults or children that have nothing better to do than to like internet harass can get scary, man. Get real scary. Real frightening. Um, anyway. And that's the thing. That's it's. I saw probably, probably like a, a hundred different IRL streamers, and all of them were fine. All of them were nice, just having a great time, doing exactly what IRL is for during the convention. And that's what I'm saying. I can't speak from any experience because I never saw these people. Um, all I saw were really nice, respectful people, like just kind of like, you know, walking around, filming the crowd, talking to their chat and stuff like that and being very nice. But it's, it's the, it's the, the ones that are, it's like, we all know if you have a chat of a thousand people and 10 of them are being assholes, you're going to remember those assholes because they're louder than everybody else. <laughs> Same thing with everything. Like the assholes are always louder than everybody else. And you remember them. Dirty eight means already. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. What up, Austin? How you doing? Try war won the weekend with what? What did you win the weekend with? Oh, no, it's boop foo. Okay, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Good thing we're all nice and respectable humans, right? I know, right? Yeah. Um. Anyway. Hmm. It's time for break. Uh, that was my TwitchCon. Hope you guys enjoyed all the stories and whatnot. Um, I had a I had a wonderful time. Still, best one yet. I will say that uh, they should have been back in the San, the San Diego Convention Center. Uh, the San Diego Convention Center is a better venue just because it's built better for that. I heard it was just it was just scheduling, um, but my my two cents as far as that goes is I would have liked to be back because of the layout of the San Diego Convention Center with the gas lamp district right fucking there, all the hotels all around, and the baseball stadium was perfect for the TwitchCon party because so many so many areas of ingress, huge, huge field for everybody to do standing, seats if you wanted to sit, many different places to get drinks, to, to cordon yourself off if you want to have a chat with somebody. You could go up into the stands, sit next to them, have a chat. Like, I think it was perfect. My two senses, I hope we can go back to the San Diego 
for TwitchCon next year. I know the scheduling thing doesn't really line up, but uh, I will say it was my favorite TwitchCon yet. It just keeps getting better and better. Um, but I think the venue was was a little tough. Was a little tough. Um, and the the Queen Mary party thing, like I don't know, man. I think it. I think you have to overestimate. Way you have to way overestimate, like the 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 venue. You have to have a way too big venue because then. Like, like, just, I don't know, man. I don't know. You know what? I'm not educated in, in, in throwing giant fucking 20,000 people parties. So I can't speak intelligently of that. What I can say is I saw the pictures. I heard stories about the lines and all this kind of stuff. And trying to get a drink at the bar was pretty tough and that kind of thing. I would say it was probably 80% like meh to ugh. Like meh to terrible. And then, like, 20% was, like, pretty good to, like, fucking awesome. So, like, the, the ratio that of people that I talked to was mostly meh to not great or not not good at all. Um, you can't... I can't speak intelligently anyway, period. Um, but I will say, like, just having everybody... Also, I don't think we... I think I think next year for our mod thing we should reconsider like where we have it too because having it in a suite there was there was a lot of people there we sh definitely should like and I know it was all last minute stuff and I know like shit fell through like Airbnbs fell through tons of people's Airbnbs fell through I heard nightmares nightmare stories about people like I was fucking and they the Airbnb fucking canceled our shit and stuff like that it's like terrible terrible but next year we'll definitely have we'll definitely plan it out to have someplace like confirmed that's like bigger so we can have like a you know better gathering or whatever more people more alcohol uh <laughs> that kind of shit i'll get a bigger place for sure zeke already working on it. no and scott you know you know me man that's not definitely i know the story behind it it was fucking shit was being canceled Last minute plans had to be arranged and you pulled it together. You and Bree pulled it together like amazing. You guys did amazing work. So I'm not, that's not a complaint. It's just something like learning experience. Airbnbs are fucking dicey. Sucks. Um, but yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to go take a break. I'm going to uh, go to the bathroom. I'm going to take this taco hat off because I'm fucking dying. And then when we come back, we're going to play some South Park. So I hope you guys had fun talking about Twitch stories, looking at pictures and whatnot. If you guys want to see all the pictures, you can see them uh, just on my on my Twitter page. I retweeted those. The pictures that I showed were all pictures that I just retweeted. So you can just look on my timeline, see all the pictures that I retweeted, and you can, you can uh, check them out if you missed anything. So, all right. Um, I'll be back. Stick around. Let me put up, let me turn on the music just a little bit. There we go. All right. I will return shortly. <laughs> 